hello everyone welcome to this channel in today's video we're going to be doing short 4c here if you're new to this channel my name is Annette and I do lifestyle videos for family just because I'm really really big on family so if this is your first time watching our video please go ahead and subscribe grab you a cup of coffee and let's get started we know that um, Ariella has very short hair and every time to do her hair is kind of a struggle but we have to always navigate and find ways of doing her hair and as you can see if this is your first time her hair is too short but if you are a returning subscriber or if you have watched her video you can tell that we have gone a long ways so kudos to Ariella's hair journey we're quickly just going to do our little hair buns and after the hair buns we're going to be adding some hair just to make it long so that it's easy to synchronize the hair at this time we're just going to focus on the front because the style we're doing today is very focused on the front and the back we can um just make buns all over it but the front needs to have a square pattern once we are done doing the hair buns we're just going to go ahead and start adding a little more hair in the front to just make it easier to braid if you are very good at making cornrows you don't need this step you can just twist in and go backwards or you can just braid it in a single cornrow but if you are struggling and you're not yet perfect with doing hair and you're just making little progress struggling to just make your child look well groomed then you can also do this step but this is absolutely optional moms this is optional so do your single braids don't make it too long because you really don't need it too long but i already had this hair pre-cut prior to now that's why mine is kind of long but if you're cutting your hair just now don't cut it too long because it's just a source of wastage and i'm intentionally leaving this two and not adding braids to it because the style i want to do i need i just need this two to fall down now that you're done with your single braids we may start adding some accessories. Today we're using rubber bands just to give it a rainbow look, a colorful look, a beautiful look because I think girls are always just beautiful with many colors and I love colors on girls. I love multiple colors on girls. So I'm doing a crisscross pattern on the front and after crisscrossing the first two, I just went ahead and twisted the first two together just to make it um, one so that it's easier to crisscross onto the back. So that's what I'm doing right here. Very easy. You don't need to be an expert to do this. You're just twisting both of them. So don't say you don't know how to twist just try to put them together it doesn't have to be perfect i promise you you don't have to be a hair professional i am not i am not a beautician or a hairdresser or anything of that sort i'm just trying to make my daughter's hair well groomed so that it's it looks beautiful so if you haven't subscribed yet here is a good fair chance to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be the first one to know when we upload new content like this video share this video and let us know in the comment section what you think we appreciate honest feedback i personally appreciate it and just show ariella some love Ariella is doing really great. She's very patient and I promise you I will be shaking if they if they're doing all this manipulation on my hair. But Ariella, she is next level patient. Next, next level patient. So show Ariella some love. She's really amazing. Okay. 
this video is fast forwarded and I'm not rough handling her it's just made to go faster so that we don't waste a lot of time at the back I'm going to be um, just what do I say I'm just going to be doing comb rolls to blend in the hair and after that this is what it looks so we have some little buns and we have some corn road the hair i use is milky way human hair extension and i got this from my local beauty supply at this time i just cut the hair just because it's easier for me to work with it when it's shorter so we're going to be needing a needle and thread to proceed if you know that you have tremors please i will not be recommending this for you because you're going to be <laughs> piercing your baby's hair so using the needle and the thread first i put the needle in through the thready part of the hair and then i pull out the buns so that the needle goes in nicely and smooth and you can see i realize it's not even feeling it she doesn't even she feels touches but she doesn't know something that sharp is going through this um through her hair because if she knows of course she's going to be you know all scared and all freaking out and you know but it's not painful or anything if it's painful she, you know that it's painful and she'll move so know your child this is where i want to say if you have 10 children they are differently different i have a six-year-old son but i promise you i cannot even try this on jason's hair <laughs> jason was <laughs> jason was a girl i will not even try this because he'll be shaking the whole time and if you not only children shake some parents shake and some parents have some kind of anxiety or some kind of tremor so it takes both of you to become and cooperative to do this so sewing the hair and i mean it's just easy you don't have to sew it through every single one of the buns just sew it in a way that it feels up that's that's the goal you're just filling up the back Like 